Hello and welcome to First Kids Worship! First Kids Worship! Today we're going to talk to you about peace. That's being calm no matter what's happening around you where nothing can throw you off. In fact, it's a means you're going to go around with God's peace, not your own peace. Have you ever been so overwhelmed or frustrated or angry that you think you could just pop? Well, today we're going to find out how come little balloons pop and big ones don't for what appears to be a very small, if not insignificant reason. I want you to imagine you by yourself as the little balloon and you with Jesus inside you and Jesus in your life are the big balloon together. Let's go worship together.
Dear Lord, thank you so much for being there this week. So much has happened. I tried really hard to keep my cool. But wow. You know, homework is really hard. I'm having a hard time getting along with my brother, sister. Lord, what can I do? I guess all I can do is look to you. Thank you so much for giving me the peace. Give me the strength just to keep looking at you for that peace. Because my problems aren't going to go away. I'm still going to get in trouble with mom and dad. I'm still going to be angry with them. But God, with your help, I can find peace. Help me not to burst like the balloon. Let me lean into you and give these things into you so that I can have peace. In your name, amen. I was alone out in the darkness Lost in the ocean of my sin Day after day the waves crash over me Lord, it's your light that draws me I raise my hands to you for mercy I need your love that won't let go Oh God, you're reaching down And you are found A rescue for my soul Do you tell me time again? No longer death in me. You're my victory, Lord. It's your life that draws me in. I raise my hand.
guys, I'm Amy. Welcome to our new series called The Fruit of the Spirit. We are so glad that you're joining us this week. In this series, we are learning all about how we can grow in the fruit of the Spirit as we grow in our relationship with Jesus. To help us better understand this, we are going to sing a song all about the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Let's sing it together. Tired or confused when a friend is mad or said something rude. God gave us some seeds that can grow into fruit, a life full of love, grace, and truth. I got love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. God's love shown to all the world When my neighbor looks sad, tired, or confused When a friend is mad or said something rude God gave us some seeds that can grow into fruit A life full of love, grace, and truth I got love, joy, peace Patience, kindness, goodness Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control God's love shown to all the world I got love, joy, peace Patience, kindness, goodness Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control God's love shown to all the world God's love shown to all the world I got love, joy, peace Patience, kindness, goodness Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control God's love shown to all the world God's love shown to all the world That was a great song. The worship song teaches us about how we can use the fruit of the Spirit to show others God's love. These qualities develop in us when we have a relationship with Jesus. As we grow closer to Him, the fruit will grow inside of us so that we can show others what God's love looks like. Now we're going to watch our Bible story where we will learn all about a person in the Bible who lived out one of the fruits of the Spirit. Let's check it out. Slapstick Theater. Peter escapes from prison. This is Peter, Hey-o! who was one of Jesus' disciples. Yep. Peter told people about Jesus. There was a king named Herod who tried to stop anyone who tried to tell others about Jesus. He arrested Peter and took him to jail to be executed. While Peter was in prison, the people of the church prayed for him. The night before Peter was supposed to go to trial, he was sleeping. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord stood before him. The angel woke Peter up and said, Quick, get up. The chains fell off Peter's wrists. Whoa! 
Then the angel told him to get up and get ready to go and to follow him. So Peter left the cell, but all the time he thought was happening wasn't real and that it was just a vision. They passed by the guards, and when they came to the iron gate, it opened for them on its own. Wow, awesome! They were walking through the street when the angel suddenly left him. Wait, what would happen? Peter finally realized that this was all really happening and that God had sent an angel to save him from what King Herod and the Jewish leaders had planned to do to him. Wow! He went to the home of Mary, where many believers were together praying. When Peter knocked at the door, a servant girl came to answer. Hey, uh, let me in! Peter! When she realized it was Peter, she was so excited that she ran inside to tell people instead of letting Peter in. Uh, I'm sure I her. It's Peter! The people inside thought the girl was wrong and said, it must be Peter's angel. But Peter kept knocking. When the people finally opened the door, they were amazed. Peter told them about what happened and all about how God sent an angel to rescue him from prison. What a great Bible story. This Bible story helps us see an example of how we can have the fruit of the Spirit. Remember, each of those qualities grow in us so that others can see what God's love looks like. Now we're going to watch a short video about that same fruit of the Spirit and what it could look like in our world today. Let's watch and see what happens.
Wow, that was a great way to show God's love to others. We have seen a couple examples of what it looks like, but what does it all mean? Let's unpack this week's Fruit of the Spirit to better understand what it means to live it out. Check this out! Raise your hand if you've ever wanted a little more peace in your life. I'm going to guess that most of you have experienced a crazy moment and hoped for a little peace. What is peace anyway? We know from God's Word in the Bible that peace is when God helps us to be calm no matter what is going on around us. Did you catch that? no matter what is going on around us. Remember in our video, the boy who was having a hard time because his parents were getting a divorce? He was truly struggling. He was sad, he was angry, he was confused. But somehow, he got through his situation and was able to go forward. The Bible says that God offers us a peace that is more amazing than anything we can understand. God's peace does not depend on what is happening in life at that moment. His peace is true and unchanging. When the disciple Peter was in prison for telling people about the good news of Jesus, he must have been scared confused about what was going to happen. But how did Peter maintain his peace? He remembered God's promise to never leave him. He remembered that no matter what, God is in control. We all face tough times in life. And of course, we should all do what we can to overcome our obstacles and even to help others overcome theirs. But we can have peace even during the struggle. That is the same kind of peace that God offers to us if we trust in Jesus, the one and only Son of God, and trust God's Word in the Bible. I don't know about you, but I feel like I understand it so much better now that we have unpacked this week's Fruit of the Spirit. Remember, the more you grow in your relationship with Jesus, the easier it is to live out love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. craft ignore all the pencils and just grab an orange a yellow whatever i was looking through these kajillion pencils just to find a yellow i mean orange mommy wow i need to go back to kindergarten um and so you're gonna need an orange a piece of paper scissors um a sharpie and I'm going to use a pencil just to, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Very explicit. So I'm going to take, we're going to be going to get a peach and not just any peach. If any of you have watched a cartoon, which you probably have, especially Looney Tunes, you'll know it's going to be a cartoon peach. You know what that means, ish. So I'm just going to. Draw a circle. That's not a circle. I'm gonna leave it. But I'm just gonna draw, draw a circle. I'm gonna draw a little stem. Draw a little leaf. Um. Uh, then draw this little guy with 
with a hand. Drum with another hand because he's not handless. Those hands look completely They're different, but it's fine. I'm gonna give him an eye. I'm gonna give him another eye. And look at his cheesy smile. Look at him, he's so happy. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna outline everything I just did. So while you're outlining, I'll tell you that this is about the fruits of the spirit from Galatians chapter five. So you can have your parents read it to you. Galatians chapter five, verses 22 and 23. And if you have been watching uh, the video before this craft, you know that this lesson is about peace. Peter escaped from prison. He was in prison for talking about Jesus and being a Christ follower, somebody who loves Jesus. Now take your yellow, orange, whatever you got. I can't make up my mind as to what color this is and color this peach creature. It's a peach. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna color the peach. So the so Peter was in prison, and um, he had peace because he knew that God was with him. God sent an angel to lead Peter out of the prison. So when you read about it. So Galatians 5, 22 through 23 talks about the fruits of the Spirit, but if you want to read about Peter escaping from prison, you or your parents or both can read Acts 12, verses 1 through 17. What you doing now? Well, I kind of forgot that the stem and the leaf are not orange. So I meant to grab in my lovely pencil colored thing, uh, brown and green. It turned out that I'm, I grabbed, uh, what is it? Pine green and maroon. Sure. When I grabbed this, I thought it said mango. That's funny. I we're thought not, it said mango. we're not coloring a mango, we're coloring a peach. To tomato, peach. tomato. So I'm, I'm just gonna color that real quickly. The reason why we're doing it now instead of cutting, instead of doing it after we cut it out, that, that's not brown. Um, instead of after we cut it out, is it's a lot easier to color the smaller areas when it's big paper. Now this is the part where you have to pay attention. Don't cut every line. Cut on the outside line only. Don't cut the whole thing. Just cut like around the hand. Then we hit here. Then you go around. Then you stop. Then you go up. Then you stop. <laughs> then you go around. You have to be very careful. If you need help, you can ask your mom and dad. They'll know what I'm talking about. They will. Hopefully. You can only hope and pray. Now, real quickly, I made the lines really thick because I want the blue outline to be seen, so kind of cut along the outside of the blue, if that makes sense. If you can't and you're just like, I can barely cut as it is, why are you telling me to be even more precise than cut on the line? I, I don't care. Yeah, because that's getting really close to the line. That might be kind of hard. So, I am an, a, a perfectionist. So, so people can go, the kids can go just around it. They don't have to do it exactly like that. Or they can ask for help. Is that what you're telling us? Sure. Okay. Let's go with that. Even I'm having a hard time, and I'm good at cutting. So, yeah, that might be kind of tough. No, nope, it's fine. See? Everything's fine. So, Ali, if this lesson is on peace, what brings you peace? Friends. Great answer. It's because it's true. How do friends bring you peace? They always make me laugh. Nice. I think family brings me peace. I'm your family. Yes, you are. Ouch. 
You bring me peace. Really? Sure. 100%. I'm a teenager. I don't know whether to be happy or upset about that. Hmm. God brings me peace. Well, I sure hope so. You are a pastor. Does God bring you peace? I sure hope so. I am a Christian. Yay! You guys watching, does God bring you peace? We hope so. Allie, you're doing a magnificent job with cutting. I told you, ever since kid, like preschool, I've been like the top precise cutter. I remember in preschool, like my t preschool teacher would be like, okay, cut on this super thin, barely visible line. And everybody would be like jagged squares and mine would be a perfect circle or something. <laughs> you're doing a great job. That's looking like a pretty cute peach course me and the kitties only do perfect the kitties kitties you mean kitty cats yeah kitties no you mean the yes. kids watching no i mean kitties hmm. kids are my kitties like right that one yeah he's my kitty hmm is this a kitty might as well be. It's a dog. It is a dog. Back to what we're doing. They're my kitties. I get it. Your animals might bring you peace too. My animals. Never mind. I'm not going into that. Look at that cute. Guy. But we're not done. Okay. Throw that away. There's more. You probably want to have your parents do this. I only recommend ages 8 and up doing this. Okay. That's good. Do this because it's a sharp edge and grab onto it. Okay. So if you, so maybe check with your parents first. Yeah. That's why I said 8 and up. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Because I'm assuming if you're 8 years or older, you've done this before. Hold, maybe. Held it like this. Maybe. And also you might poke your finger. Yeah. I got to be careful. So you're going to put two holes right there. Oh. Ouch, says the peach. It was just something to say. You can't see it, but I immediately looked up at the camera person going, don't do that. Ouch, says the peach. Peach, peach is getting a shot. That's a very cute peach. Now what are you doing? Now I'm going to widen the hole because my, fin <laughs> my fingers can't fit through that. So you need a hole big enough for your fingers to fit through? Yeah. Okay. Good enough. And Actually, I'm going to do it this way. <laughs> so you know what? No, no, no. I got this. Hold on. <laughs> So, Allie may have some issues with putting her fingers through the holes, but you will not. Voila! There we go! <laughs> so, what is that supposed to be? A peach. The legs, right? Yeah. It's supposed to be the legs of the peach. <laughs> Very cool! <laughs> may you have peace this week. Bye! So did you get your fingers in that craft? I think it's amazing that we are now on our third Fruit of the Spirit. We've had love, joy, and peace. All of those things are things I want in my life, and I'm sure you want them in your life too. I wonder if you have a friend who wants them in their life, because you could share First Kids with them. This is what peace is. It is making sure that no matter what is going on around you, you have God's peace that keeps you calm, and you can share that with anyone because no matter how big or small your balloon is all you need is god to make it strong thank you for worshiping with me i've truly enjoyed it i will see you next time on first kids worship first kids worship see you next week